This is your Fidelity Business News. A World Bank report has suggested that Caribbean governments ramp up social assistance while supporting financial sector institutions in preparation for the post-COVID-19 environment. The new report, anticipating a 4.6% drop in regional GDP this year, notes that governments across Latin America and the Caribbean face the enormous challenge of both protecting lives and limiting the impact of the economic fallout. World Bank chief economist for the Latin American and the Caribbean regions, Martin Rama adds that this will require coherent, targeted policies on a scale rarely seen before. More than 1,300 active users and 2,000 pending users have expressed interest in the pilot phase of Project Sand Dollar, the central bank of the Bahamas digital currency. The project has been rolled out in Exuma and Abaco ahead of national implementation. Bobby Chan, assistant manager in banking for the central bank of the Bahamas, touted the success of the pilot, adding that 30 to 40 Bahamian businesses have created digital point of sales to enable them to accept the virtual dollar. And in international business news, Colombian airline Avianza filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the U.S. Southern District of New York on Sunday, blaming its collapse on the unforeseeable impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to a company statement, Aviancia, which was founded in 1919, claims to be the world's second oldest continuously running airline. As of the end of last year, it was the third largest airline in Latin America based on market share. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Keishla Adderley.